Good evening, everybody. Welcome to church. Please join us this evening. You can get up on your feet. It's a day that we have come to rejoice of the goodness of the Lord. So why don't you get up? You can turn around to somebody around you and say congratulations. Good evening. Thank God you made it. Thank God you made it. See how far God has brought you. We're excited. We're excited. And we came into the house this evening to celebrate the goodness of the Lord. Somebody lift your voice and shout. Hallelujah. God is good. and just begin to worship and say, Father, thank you. Thank you. We see your goodness. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. This is all we came to say. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Your voice is singing again. Say, I will worship him. I will worship him. 
are there truly grateful people in the house tonight? Are there truly grateful people in the house tonight? Child of God, those of you that are present here, in the auditorium, outside, and from all over the nations of the world, that is a part of the service. With a grateful heart, I'd like you to join me as we go before God in prayers. Right where you are, whether in your bedroom, in your office, I'd like you to begin to exalt him. I'd like you to begin to magnify him. I'd like you to begin to glorify him. It could be in your local dialect, but begin to exalt the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. Begin to magnify our God and our maker. Adore him. There's none like unto him. Tell him who he is. He's the mighty God. He's the awesome God. He's the glorious God. There is none to be compared to our God. He's the God that stretched forth the heavens like a curtain. He's the one that has brought you here tonight. He's the one that has kept you wherever place you are tonight. Our God is good. He's faithful. He's mighty. He's worthy to be praised. He's worthy to be adored. He's worthy to be glorified. Child of God, open your mouth and begin to magnify him. Begin to exalt him. Begin to adore him. Call him by his name. What do you know him for? What do you know him for? What do you know him for? What has he done for you? Call him by his name. What are your experiences with this God? What are your encounters with this God? Call him by his name. Lord, you are the almighty. You are beautiful beyond comprehension. You are great and you are mighty. You are the way maker. You are the miracle working God. You are our healer. You are our restorer. You are our deliverer. You are everything to us. You are the one that watches over our lives. You have given us life. We are here today because of your goodness. You are forever faithful. You are the merciful God. You are the merciful God. You are the merciful God. You are the God that stretched for the heavens like a curtain. You are the only God that can kill and can make alive. You are the only true and the living God. Besides you, there is no other God. You are our Father. We have come to worship you today. We have come to adore you today. We have come to say thank you to you today. Oh God, there is none. You are the Agbaradaburu God. You are the Almighty, the Waymaker, the El Shaddai, the El Hello. Him. You are the almighty God. You are the great king. <laughs> you are God almighty. Ever. You reign forever. Your throne is everlasting. He is alive. Lord, you are alive. No one can dethrone you. You are the great and awesome God. You are the omniscient God. You are the all-knowing God. You know the beginning from the end. You know the end from the beginning. You know all things. Lord, you know that we'll be here tonight. You know your people will be all over the nations to worship you, to adore you, and to glorify you tonight. We have come for an encounter with you. We have come for a touch with you. We have come for a lifting with you. We have come for a transformation with you, Lord. We have come for a change. You are the omnipotent God, the almighty God. You are the all-powerful God. You are the great I am that I am. You are the unlimited one with the unlimited power. You reign forevermore. You reign forevermore. There's none bigger than you are. You are the only true and the living God. Oh, we give you praise forever. You are the omnipresent God. You are the only God that is present everywhere at the same time. All over the nations, they are worshiping you. All over the nations, they are adoring you. Lord, we thank you. They are calling upon your name. You can answer everybody at the same time. You are glorious. No one can take your place in our lives. None can take your place in our lives. Child of God, what is it that you can remember of his goodness this year? Begin to tell him thank you for all of that. From January up until this moment, begin to tell him. Tell him thank you. Tell him thank you. Tell him thank you. 
Tell him thank you. Tell him thank you. Tell him thank you. Oh, I can see you. You are alive. I can see you. You are alive. You are here. It's enough to tell him thank you for. It's enough to tell him thank you for. It's enough to tell him thank you for. Because we have come to understand in the books that the password, the passcode is to tell him thank you. Child of God, this is your time to tell him thank you. Tell him for who he has been to you. Tell him for all that he has done for you in this year that is coming to an end now. Masuka Chia Baba Supatilibadia. Lord, we thank you. We thank you for your goodness. We thank you for your goodness. We thank you for your provisions. We thank you for your favors. We thank you for your blessings. We thank you for your mercies. We thank you for your forgivenesses. Lord, you did so much for us. We cannot even count them. We cannot even count them. We cannot even count them. But we are grateful that we are alive. You kept us. You gave us life. You sustained us. Lord, we say thank you. We say thank you. Lord, we say thank you. Lord, we say thank you. Lord, we say thank you. From the beginning of this year up until this very moment, we are grateful. We say thank you. Our hearts are filled with gratitude. Our hearts are filled with gratitude. Our hearts are filled with gratitude. Lord, we say thank you. 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 We have come to know through your books, through the word, that thank you is the password, is the access code. We have, we have come to say thank you. As a church, we say thank you. As a people, we say thank you. As families, we say thank you. As individuals, we say thank you. As organizations represented here, we say thank you. Thank you, Lord. You spared us. You spared us. We are alive. We say thank you. We say thank you. We say thank you. Lord, 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 we say thank you. For the remaining minutes, I want us to speak into the year 2023. 2023 is going to be a defining year for you. It's going to be a year of the supernatural. God is going to bet new things in your life, in your family, in your business, in your career. Child of God, open your mouth and begin to declare into 2023. Into 2023. Into 2023. God will do something new in your life. The Lord will help you. You will see the help of God in 2023. I say you will see the help of God in 2023. Open your mouth and begin to make those declarations. God will help you in 2023. He will lead you every day of your life. Every day of 2023. God will lead you. God by his spirit will lead you. He will lead you. He will lead you. You will not be deceived, child of God. You will not be deceived, child of God. You will not go astray, child of God. You will be led by the spirit of the Holy Spirit. You will be led by the spirit of God. In 2023, you will be led. Every day of your life, you will be led. Every step will be ordered by the spirit of God. Oh, you will receive divine help in 2023. 2023, you will receive help. You will receive help. You will receive help. You will receive help. God will send you help from all quarters. God will send you help from all quarters. From the north, from the south, from the east, from the west, from within the shores of this nation and outside the shores of this nation. You will receive help in 2023. You will receive help in 2023. Open your mouth and begin to declare you will enjoy God's protection like never before. Child of God, in 2023, you will enjoy God's protection like never before. You will be protected in your going out and in your coming in. In your going out and in your coming in, you will be protected. You will enjoy the protection of the Almighty God. The eyes of the wicked will not see you. The eyes of the wicked will not see you. Evil will not come near your dwelling place. You will be protected, child of God. You will be protected, child of God. God will watch over you every day of your life. Lord, we give you miracles in 2023. I say you will enjoy miracles in 2023. I say you will enjoy miracles in 2023. You will enjoy miracles in 2023. The miracle of increase will be your portion. The miracle of abundance will be your portion. The miracle of pleasure will be your portion. The miracle of favor will be your portion. The miracle of healings will be your portion. In the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, child of God, you will not die in 2023. You will not die in 2023. The same God 
that is taking you into 2023, it will protect you. You will not die. You will not die. I say you will not die. I say you will not die. Your life will not be cut short in 2023. Untimely death will be far from you. Your husband will not die on you. Your wife will not die on you. Your children will not die. In their going out and in their coming in, they will enjoy the protection of the Almighty God. I plead the blood of Jesus Christ as a covering over everyone that is a part of the King's Assembly. Far and near, Lord, they will enjoy your protection. Untimely death is far from us. Long life and prosperity will be our portion. In the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. In the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. In the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Oh, begin to tell him thank you. Kados, kados. Begin to tell him thank you. Thank him for answered prayers. Kados, kados, kados. Likatia babasukate, rababa sumandia katia, likato masum radus katia baba. Lord, we thank you for answering our prayers. We thank you for the miracles. We thank you for the victories. We thank you for the increases. We thank you for the multiplications. We thank you for the abundance. We thank you for health. We thank you for provisions. We thank you for provisions. We thank you for provisions. We thank you for favors. We thank you for the miraculous in the year 2023. Thank you, Daddy God. In Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. Someone lifts your voice and shout, Jesus! Jesus! How are you can do better? Lift your voice and shout, Jesus! Jesus. The name that is above all names. One more time, lift your voice and call the name, Jesus! Praise the day. Come on. There's power in that name. The name of Jesus. It has power. 
Say, the devil comes to steal, kill, and destroy. But we serve a God who does much more than we could ever imagine. Whatever happens, it's working. It's starting in a rock right now. Watch it turn.
2022, on my way to run an errand for my son, who just rounded up your service. From the Brookson School, I was going towards Abacha Road, towards Abacha Road. Just before headed to Casablanca, the road that navigated from Abacha Road through the back of Bonga Villa, a tipper that was loaded with debris was coming. Just to navigate towards my own road, all of a sudden the trailer fell break and it was just running, running towards me. I was just looking at the trailer as it was coming. I said, oh Lord, nothing missing, nothing broken. And the way the trailer was, the tipper was coming, I just came and the Lord, the hand of the Lord just dragged it back and pinned it down in front of my car. And it was pushing on my car and my car, the Holy Ghost was pushing it back and brought it to a still. I want to really give God thanks and praise for saving my life and for the life of many people that were standing in front of a company there. There were more than 20 people. I want to give return all the glory to God. In September 2017, we got married and a year after, it was from one pregnancy issue to another. In October 2018, she was pregnant and you know we were happy. Six weeks after, there were the scan was showing fibroid and then by November on um, the 5th of November we started to notice uh, she was bleeding and by that night we had lost the pregnancy and or the other but we made up our minds to be joyful to be hopeful to serve God and to put more effort in things we were doing for him. And we just allowed ourselves to bask in his presence. In 2022, January, I think we were confirmed pregnant again. And this time we decided that we would go all out to ensure that everything that was required to ensure that this pregnancy became full term was um, established. We spoke to Pastor Chris, we spoke to Pastor Charles, we spoke to all of the pastors, all the pastors Pastor and Amy they C. gave us courage, they gave us um, prayers and indeed God answered. On the 19th of August 2022, less than one year after, which was, a, yes, which was less than a year after the previous um, incident of stillborn, God blessed us with this beautiful girl and we were elated. God has put smiles on our faces. God has shown himself. We are here to thank God in fulfillment of the vow that I made to God that once he does it, I'll let the whole world know what he has done for me. We are grateful. Despite the doctor's reports of multiple fibroids, incompetent cervix, a luteal phase defect, Despite several miscarriages, blighted ovum, stillborn, God still came true. On the 14th of October, 2022, I was coming from my site at LMA to Port Harcourt with my cousin. When we got to the LMA bridge, a trailer hit us and pushed us into the LMA river. So we sank. And when we sank, we started struggling. Deep down there, it, it was dark and silent. We couldn't, I couldn't see anything. He wasn't seeing me. So we struggled to try to come out of the vehicle. Somehow, which I still can't understand, or you know, or why, how I came out. I came out and found my way out of the car and then swam to the top. Mind you, I don't know how to swim. But on getting to the top, there was a fisherman there who helped me to uh, get to safety and that's how I survived. Of course, my cousin didn't make it out of the car and he died in the river when he saw rest in peace. Uh, and this is not the first time I've, you know, had near-death experiences. 2009, I was shot, had a fatal accident and I came out scratchless. I've come to return all glory to God who has kept me alive. I left my house happy that morning and 
My wife was shocked when I called her to tell her that I've had an accident. So I've come to return all glory to God to, to glorify him for all he has done in my life, for keeping me and sustaining me over incidents that could have taken my life. I'm grateful to God for protecting my family, my husband, and may his name be highly exalted. And, and this is our, our story. story. As we stand here on the cups of a new year, we can't help but look back and give thanks for all that you, Lord, have brought us through. The highs and the lows, the joys and the sorrows. We are grateful for your constant love and your unending grace. For all that you have done for us today and for all our tomorrows for the struggles that you've helped us overcome, for the victories that you've given us, the blessings you have made known. We are grateful, Lord, for your faithfulness and your mercy, for your unending love and your grace, never ceasing, always steady. We also acknowledge the difficult times we faced, the pain and the hardship, the loss, and the heartache we trust in your plan and your sovereign hand even when it feels like the world is against us and we can't understand you have been our rock and our refuge our strength in the storm and our solace in the tough you have carried us through the darkest of days and given us hope and a future in your love that never fades so we give you thanks lord for all that you have done for the great things and the small things the victories you brought our way we trust in your goodness and your love as we look forward to the new year and all that it will bring from your hand of love
I believe that every one of us here this evening are recipients of 365 days of miracle. Each day we sleep and each day miraculously God wakes us up. No greater miracle than that. Everyone who is so filled with joy, gratitude, and thanksgiving in the presence of this God that has been a strong tower, I would like you to put your hands together to the praise and the glory of the Almighty God, the one that makes it possible for us to see brand new days. Every day, a miracle. With that, once more, I welcome you to an awesome time in God's presence, a time that will define so many things in the coming year for you. Being in God's presence this evening, I'd like you to prepare your heart because this is a time for a turning moment for you in the name of Jesus Christ. I have a few announcements I'd like you to be acquainted with. On Sunday, the 8th of January, 2023, the King's Assembly will start with thanksgiving. Everyone will come here to give thanks to this God of miracles. Make sure you get people to come along with you. Don't come alone. Praise God. There won't be water life on the 4th of January. So water life will commence after we have our thanksgiving on the 8th. After the service this evening... In the morning hours, we have buses to convey people from here to various places. We have buses going from here, JRA, through Choba, Wimpy, Ada George, NTA Road. We have buses that will go through Borough Creek, through Equator Road. We have buses scheduled to pass through LMA Junction, all the way from Abba Road down to LMA Junction. We have Buses going to Akpajo, through Garrison, Slaughter, YKC, and Elelenwa. We have buses for Igrita, through Eliozu, through Rupoko. All these buses are already waiting for you after the service. Don't go alone. Make sure you pair up people before you leave this premises. Praise God. I say praise God. On the first, which is just a few hours from now, we're going to have a broadcast. First, we won't have service here because we're already in service and our service is going to enter into the first. But 6 p.m. on the 1st of January, we are going to have a broadcast with our lead pastor. So please make sure you connect. Make sure you get people to be with you as we have that time, an awesome time with the Almighty God. Praise God. Before we continue our worship experience, there's something Pastor said while he was doing the breakthrough prayers a few days ago. He said, as we close this year, a mark in your heart to get an offering that is different from all the normal offerings that you've been given throughout the year. Package something that is unique. Like I said, these are nights for turning moments. And I believe there are those here by faith because all our offerings are done by faith. It's much more than the paper. It's much more than the transactions. It's by faith. So if you're here this evening and you have an awesome package with which you're coming to God to say, you have been my strong tower. You have been the one that have kept me in the face of all the enemy trust towards me. You have been the one that has been my shield. I'd like you to bring out an offering. Perhaps yours is with the physical paper, the new one that they have just changed now, whichever color you have. Or you might do yours through the transaction online. The banking details will be ahead of time. No problem. Just by faith, key into our prayers because God will honor your faith this evening. i like everyone that have a gift for God, everyone that have given a gift to God as regards this, to please join me as we pray right now. If you can, I'd like you to stand wherever you are. 
Those online also, you can do your transactions no matter where you are on the globe. You can use any of our banking details. They are all secured. You can make all the transfers. Whichever currency you want to use, you can use any one of them. Don't be, don't be left out in this blessing that is coming your way if you're joining us online. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, we are grateful to you. You are a God of miracles. Countless, countless miracles you've made possible for us this year, 2022. Lord, you have been our saving grace. You have been the one that has been there for us, for our families, for our children. Today, we bring a token from all that you have given to us. And Lord, we say, Lord, with this, let your name be glorified. We pray that, Lord, as we bring it before you, it will be an offering that will be acceptable. The same way that you accepted the offering of Abel. Look favorably upon everyone that is giving, everyone that I've given. Father, through our giving, let your name be glorified. We pray that as we place this before you, you breathe upon it. And Lord, because our transactions are in this part of the world with physical cash, with currencies that are digital, we pray that, Lord, as you open the windows of heaven, you make resources available for everyone, making us all abundantly supplied. May no one lack money in their life. May everyone, oh God, receive the abundance that only you can supply. And let all the praise, the glory, the honor, the adoration, the thanksgiving be yours. This is our prayer in Jesus' name. been good to us. So we give the praise to you. You're truly grateful that you're still around. You're still grateful that God has brought you this far. Can you take a moment, stand on your feet, and lift your hands to Him in gratitude and thanksgiving?
you are grateful that God has brought your family this far take a moment to give God praise forget about the person next to you on your right on your left or around you make it a special time between you and God hallelujah what a merciful God we serve what a good God we serve the all sufficient one the one that has delivered us kept us provided for us and sustained us our God who has become our testimony will rejoice in your faithfulness in the mighty name of Jesus all the testimonies we heard all the stories we heard we can we can begin to recount everybody's stories but just those few clips if we had allowed everybody to bring their story for this year let everybody hear your story tonight we will not leave but everyone has a story when you look from January till now you will see the handwriting of mercy you will see the handwriting of grace are you still here you will see the handwriting of love and covenant so you have every cause to worship him I came today to prophesy 2023 over your own life believe in the Lord your God you'll be established believe in his prophets you will go forward there's a force to move you into a dimension in 2023 that can only be by God I say it can only be by God so whether you're outside those of you outside don't let anybody distract you don't let anybody distract you it is between you and your God hallelujah this few days the Lord has been ministering to my heart that your struggle is over yeah. I said the struggle is over yeah. stagnation is over yeah. not by your power not by your mind but by the spirit of the living God it's not over it's not going to be over because you worked very hard it's going to be over because God helped you you will sense an unusual grace in 2023 it will look like you're riding on eagle's wings in the mighty name of Jesus Lift your hands as we just thank him for January, February, March, April, May, June, July. Till this very moment. We're here not because of our might, not because of our power, but because of him. Take a moment and thank him. Lord, we are so grateful. We are so grateful. We are so grateful. We give you thanks and we praise you. We love you, eternal King, the mighty one. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. If you can, everybody, wherever you are, if you can, just take a moment and stand because we're standing for the Lord. Were you blessed by new song today? Let's appreciate new song. I say let's appreciate them. Thank you. Thank you.
And you know, when we were singing and dancing to the Lord, we're dancing unto the Lord for his goodness and for his mercy. And you know, don't, don't look at some of our children when they begin to dance and you know, begin to express themselves before the Lord. Don't let that bother you. Okay? Some of you that are bothered by some of those things, when you were their age, you were dancing inside shrine. You were following masquerade. So we're glad that our children are dancing in the house of God. Jesus said, Jesus said, shh, leave the, allow the children. Shh, allow the children. Some of you, when you were small, you, you, some of you dance in nightclubs. But they are dancing before the Almighty God. Now, let me ask you, will, will the children ever make mistakes? Will they make mistakes? Our role is to guide them. Our role is to help them. But we must release them. We must allow them. Amen? Yes. Guide them. Feed them with God's word. Let them have foundation of strong values. And allow them to express themselves in the Lord. Say amen. Amen. Your children will take over territories. I prophesy over your children. I say your children will take over territories. Where you stop will be their beginning point. I say where you stop will be their own starting point. The things that stopped you as a person will not be a match for your children. God will take the favor you have enjoyed, the grace you have enjoyed, and multiply it and put it upon your children. May it be so in the name of Jesus. Now I want you to lift your hands and begin to thank God as we prepare to enter triumphantly into the new year. That you're not anywhere else but in the house of God. You're not anywhere else but in the presence of God. What a privilege. Let's begin to thank God as we are triumphantly entering the presence of the Lord into a new year. Let us thank him. Glory, glory, glory. Thank you, Father. Hallelujah. In the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, we thank you for the great things you have done for us from the beginning of the year till this moment. Only you can do this. Receive our thanks in Jesus' name. You delivered us. You gave us children. We're pregnant. You allowed us to have children safely. You spared us at birth. And we're here today. We had accidents. But you delivered us. We recognize that many didn't make it. And we ask you to strengthen their families and bless their loved ones. But who are we that you're mindful of us? You have made us a little lower than angels. You have crowned us with glory and with your goodness and honor. Receive our thanks today in Jesus' name. Even when we have not performed well, you have allowed us to see mercy. We say thank you. The things that came against us, that destroyed people, came against us and we survived. It is because of you. We say thank you. If not for you on our side, we know the plans of the enemy would have succeeded. But we give you thanks. Lord, 
you brought us to this place because you have a plan for our lives. We look to you from whence come our help. Our help come from you, the maker of the heavens and the earth. Today we have come to celebrate your majesty. We have come to celebrate your awesomeness as we fellowship around your word this brief moment before we enter the new year. Speak to us. Change our hearts. Transform our lives. Father, give everyone under the sound of my voice an encounter. Let Jesus alone be glorified. We thank you for it. In Jesus' wonderful name, we have prayed and God's people say, Help me go to at least five people, shake their hands and say, I thank God for your life. I thank God. I really thank God for your life. I thank God for your life. I thank God for your life. Please, please. And those, you may be seated. And those of you joining us online, I thank God for your life. May the Lord himself richly bless you in Jesus' name. The service we have later this, um, on the first in the evening, it's also going live on, um, is that Garden City? Garden City 89.9. 89.9. Nine. So for any reason you don't have data, just make sure you tune your radio to Garden City 89.9 and gather the family around. I'll be sharing some powerful things for you, uh, with you concerning the new year. And that's um, 6 p.m. So we will, it, we will stream it. I hope it's ready. We're streaming on, um, on my handle tk community okay we're streaming on my handle at i am chris Ugo. and then we're also streaming at tk community um where else that's all facebook facebook youtube instagram all right but i'm not sure we're doing i at i'm chris Ugo. only on facebook right Huh? Facebook and what? Mixler. Oh, Mixler, Mixler, Mixler. So you, if you don't, if you don't have to so much data, the radio you can also online radio you can also hook up with that, and the Lord will honor you. And then the first Thanksgiving is eight, eight, eight of January. Every member of our church, bring family members. Everybody, we're coming before the Lord. To say thank you for 2023. Say amen. amen. Looks like I'm going to come to this side. Say amen. amen. Where's where's Maureen again? God bless you. Thank you. Let's appreciate Maureen. And thank you for your beautiful song. I want to hear that song again and again and again and again and again. Hallelujah. Say a big amen. amen. Turn, turn with me in your Bibles to Isaiah 43 verse 18 and 19. Do not remember the former things, nor consider the things of old. Behold, I will do a new thing. Now it shall spring forth. Shall you not know it? I will even make a road in the wilderness and rivers in the desert. Can you help my monitors and bring up my monitors? A new beginning. For several years, you know, I asked the Lord, what do you want us to call our last service of the year? It used to be crossover. So I, I went to the Lord. I said, Lord, what do you want us to call our service? The last service 
into a new year. He said, believe me, always believe me for a new beginning. Because with me, there's always a new beginning. You can never exhaust your walk with me. God is a God of new beginning. The God I serve gives new beginning. So from that time up till today, the last service we do is called a new beginning. So today, I want you not just to come to this service as service as usual. Come believing God for a new beginning. Are you still here? Come with faith. Don't enter this 2023 and be looking at me like you know me. I don't, you don't even know me. You know Sabi me at all. I can't, I can't look at you and conclude about your life. Because the God we serve is a God of beginnings. One moment I see you like this. The next moment you don't. Now you be this. Now so they're going to talk for your compound. For your neighborhood. For your community. They will always see you and be surprised. That's the dimension you are entering. Say a better amen. amen. Our word for the new year is unusual harvest. Beyond what you labor for. Beyond what you work for. The harvest is going to come to you because God has decided to give it to you. There are things only God can do. The thief that was on the cross just last minute and he said, Lord, remember me in your paradise. Nobody can give such a man a new beginning. And they said, today. When God says today over your matter, who can cancel it? You know, sometimes we don't realize. Do you understand the man's prayer? He said, remember me in, when you come into your kingdom. And Jesus said, today. You will be with me. The man used the word kingdom. And Jesus used the word. Let me help you. Golgotha is a place of death. Stinks. Not dead body, they dead there. Rotten things are there. It's a messy spot. When they crucified Jesus, you will need to put your hand on your nose. I don't know how you read your own Bible, but not be so easy. In a bad place. Jesus, the type of beginning you are entering in 2023, is the beginning that is better than your present experience. Can I get believers to say better amen? amen. The stinking nature of where you are functioning will not join you into the new year. When the man said, remember me, did the Lord remember him? Of course. New beginning comes to every one of us that will have confidence to go before God. God is a God of new beginnings. He's a God that is not intimidated by our past. Not intimidated by our accomplishments. There's a scripture I like to read. I read a few scriptures to us today. Do 
do not remember the former things nor consider the things of old behold I'll, I'll do a new thing now it shall spring forth you shall know it I will even make a road in the wilderness and rivers in the desert a road in the wilderness is new rivers in the desert is new usually in wilderness you are lost I dare somebody today to believe God today for opportunities in 2023 as you leave this service every opportunity that God has earmarked for you no devil will take it from you no man will steal it from you if you believe God with me can you say a better amen? amen if you are not asleep can you say a louder amen? amen your opportune doors will come to you amen. you will not miss your way in wilderness God will bring you out of your wilderness and put you in a place of plenty can you say a better amen, amen. it makes away rivers in the desert where other people say it is hard and difficult in 2023 may you receive unusual harvest in the name of God the Father God the Son and God the Holy Spirit as others say it's difficult may you enjoy grace where it is not working may it work for you tonight Lord as these ones are anointed with oil may they enjoy grace in 2023 in the name of God the Father in the name of God the Son in the name of God the Holy Spirit can you shout a louder amen now those of you that are outside can you shout if you're outside shout a louder amen I can't hear you if you're outside shout a louder amen Did you hear anything? one more time I can't hear you can you shout a louder amen did you hear them Some people said they heard you people. But Pastor Chris wants to hear you louder. Can you shout a louder amen if you're outside? I hear that. I hear that. I hear that. Clap your hands for yourselves, everybody outside. God gives rivers. It's going to be unusual harvest. So stop believing God for river when he says rivers. When he says let down your nets, don't say net. Your lack of education will not stop your miracle in 2023. Your lack of confidence will not derail the work of God in your life in 2023. Your fear and limitations will not shut down the miracle of God. The refusal to catch up with what God is doing in your life will not reduce it. Amen. Say better amen somebody. Amen. Today I prophesy over you. The previous failures you have gone through in life will not limit the new work God is doing in your life. I command that the days of stagnation be over. In the name of Jesus. I will put rivers in the desert. 
God makes a way where there is no way. May the Lord make a way for Nigeria. The God we serve is a God of impossibilities. He makes impossible things to become possible. God is not a man that is your lie. He's not a son of man that is your repent. If he has said it, he will do it. Stop doubting God. Tonight I ask you to believe God. I am just the vessel. God sent me to you. To tell you that he has heard your prayers. Are there believers tonight? God said... I should tell you that he has heard your prayers and he has answered your prayers that I should tell you that this is your season of unusual harvest beyond your efforts and your ability your season of unusual harvest say amen if you believe God no power will stop it no force will stop it. In the name of God the Father. In the name of God the Son. In the name of God the Holy Spirit. Sit down. If you read the scriptures, you will see that God is a God of new beginnings. You know, somebody was writing in online. He said, oh, I should stop saying God is a God of new beginning. I should, I should stop saying that, God, that that is mere humanism. Really? that I mess up and I seek God to change my life putting my faith in Jesus Christ is mere humanism the woman by the well in John chapter 4 says see come see a man that has told me everything A God that takes Rahab, a harlot, a former prostitute, who puts her faith in Jesus. Rahab put her faith. You, you said Jesus has not come when Rahab was in the Old Testament. You put your faith in Jesus that has died. So you put your faith backwards. Rahab put her faith forward. Because the red scarlet, the red tie, the red was symbolic of the blood that Jesus was shed. He says, we're going to take the red and tie it. So when you take the city, spare my house. I believe that everyone that runs into Jesus is safe. That's what Rahab is saying. Rehab is saying, I can be saved. Rehab is saying, I need a savior. And they say, God is not a God of second chance. You know, people are very wicked. They want us to live and die condemned and never believe God for a change. Look at Adam. Go read your Bible. I wanted to reply. I was, I spent 30 minutes contemplating. I knew it was the Holy Spirit. I wanted to abuse that man. You said, ah, I'm telling you the truth. I wanted to abuse him with scriptures. Read from Genesis. Adam and Eve, they missed it. God covered them. They missed it. Their case is different from my case and your case. Their case was that they were in Eden. In the garden of Eden. There was nothing to tempt them. No girl, they were like this, past Adam. No social media, nothing. Only him and only him fall. All by himself. 
And God in his mercy killed the lamb, wrapped him because of the blood, gave him an Eve a second chance. In fact, we are here today because God gave them a second chance. God give them a new. What about Abraham? Didn't Abraham lie that his wife is his sister? And we still call him the father of faith. If it was you, wouldn't you have dismissed Abraham and said no more? you are disqualified from this honorable lineage. What about David? Peeping Tom. Girl, they bath. Now say they peep him. Now say they look. You know some people see the duan. When somebody they bath, they, they go look them. Watch, watch. You see, your eyes can get you into trouble. Can you help me preach to two people around you? Say, be careful with your eyes. It can get you into trouble. Are you scared of the person you are sitting by? You can change your seat. He killed the woman's husband so that he, he could carry the woman. And God was angry with him. Can you do such a thing? How can you how can you do such a thing? And David fell before God. And that's what God is looking for. He says, You will when you seek me, you will find me when you search for me with all of your heart. Don't listen to all of, that's why I felt like using scriptures of that man violently. Because, you know, some people enter. They won't enter. Allow others to enter. They won't let them. And they bring all manner of doctrines. Now, are we saying that God is a God of new beginnings so that it will now license the people to live anyhow? Are we saying God is a God of new beginning because now we're asking people to do whatever they want to do function however they want to function no sir no man but we're giving them the power that God has already given to them to, to begin again to know it's not over to know that God still has a plan for their lives are you still here you can't let me tell you the truth you can't be here tonight if God didn't allow you. You can't serve God without the help of God. If you serve God by your efforts is unacceptable. It's called works. So you're going to have to lean on him to help you to serve. You are, hello, you are in sin has deformed us that we're incapable of scoring 100%. It's impossible. Our best efforts will still be human efforts. He said, but I've made mistakes. God wants to use your mistakes and turn it into a message to a dying world. He says, see what I can do with a life that is yielded to me. God wants the world to look at your challenges and see you come out of it. It becomes a testimony that God is powerful. Who is in a better position to share, to talk to married people that have not had a baby yet, that God gives babies. If not some of us that have been, we know when we got married, we didn't have children. So the things you struggle with, God wants you to be your message or your ministry. Your message or your ministry. God does not waste 
pain. God does not waste experiences. A lot of you hear that God has cleaned you of Shakisman. You used to be Shakisman before. Oguguru Master. Shakisman, Godons, you know. What, what were you drinking before? He said, Pastor, I don't know. Old things have passed away. But, <laughs> hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. <clears throat> but who will be in a better position to sh I prophesy over your life in 2023 the power of addiction is broken over your life. In the name of Jesus. Hey, better amen, somebody. Amen. Can you lift your right hand and shout a louder amen? amen? You will not do 2023 the way you did 2022. Amen. God's grace will be multiplied in your life in the name of Jesus. Amen. Today I pray for everyone under the sound of my voice. That the things that have humiliated and disgraced you in 2022 becomes the stepping stone for your testimony. Becomes the stepping stone for your miracle. In the name of Jesus. Thank you Heavenly Father. In the mighty name of Jesus. Get ready for a new beginning. If you're messed up, get ready for a new beginning. If you have failed, get ready for a new beginning. If you are lost your way, get ready for a new beginning. If you are hopeless, you are betrayed, get ready for a new beginning. If you have failed spiritually, financially, materially, get ready. Looking to you right now, Jesus still gives new beginnings. People from all over the world are looking to Jesus to be the answer and the solution for what they are struggling with. 1 John 1 9 says, if we confess our sins, he's faithful and he's just to forgive us and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. Everyone deserves a new beginning. I say it again. I say everyone deserves a new beginning. Help me preach to two people around you. Touch them if you're not sleeping yet and say you deserve a new beginning. Touch another person and say you deserve a new beginning. You deserve a new beginning. Glory be to Jesus. Jesus died to give you a new beginning. That's why he died. Jesus paid the price on the cross of Calvary. He paid the price on the cross of Calvary to give you a new beginning. While we were sinners, Christ died for us. In Romans chapter 5 verse 6. Can you put new century version? Romans 5. From 6 before we get to 8. Watch this. When we were unable to help ourselves. Help me touch your neighbor. Say there was a time you can't even help yourself. Talk to them like they say. Do you know really you can't help yourself? <laughs> when we're unable to help ourselves at the right time at the right time Christ died for us although we're living against God very few people will die to save the life of someone else although perhaps for a good person someone might possibly die but God shows his great love for us in this way Christ died for us while we were still sinners. He died so that you and I can have a new beginning. He shed his blood on the cross of Calvary so that we can have a new beginning. He paid it in full so that we can have a new beginning. Listen to me. Redemption matters. Redemption is important. Redemption is significant. You are redeemed from the curse of the law. Christ hath passed. He's not going to. He has already redeemed you. Put your hand on your chest. 
If you're not sleeping, put your hand there and say, Christ has redeemed me from the curse of the law. I am redeemed from sickness. Say like you truly mean it. Say, I'm redeemed from sickness, from disease, from pain, from poverty. I am redeemed. My family is redeemed. I am redeemed. In Jesus name. Say a big amen. amen. Quickly. Eight things that will help you experience a new beginning. Number one. Begin with God. You want a new beginning? Begin with. Always begin with God. Never come to the point of your life. Where other things will divert, distract and derail you. Begin with God. I have a service I'm going to do later in the day. And later in the evening on the 1st of January. A part of my sharing point is that God is the beginning. You can, you can, you can, you can do life like God intends without God. In the beginning, read Genesis chapter 1. In the beginning, God created. So, anything that's going to have a good beginning has to have God. In the beginning, God. So, begin your beginning into the reflect the mud. Begin with God. Begin. Begin your projects with God. Begin, begin your vision with God. Begin your family journey with God. You know, I was hearing the testimonies of the people. All the testimonies. The, the common thread amongst all of them is that if not for God. If not for God. And unfortunately, the other brother. Did he say, his, is he his... Um, is he cousin? Oh. I mean, you know, it's, it, it's a very bad place to be. You know, God delivers you. You're grateful to God, but you're hurting because you lost the love. You know, it's, it's a bad place to be. You can't thank God enough at the moment because you also, you, you have, you know, and yet you have to thank God. But yet you have lost the loved one. It's, it's a very difficult place to be. It's a very difficult place to be but God when when pastor's wife was sharing with me about how the big trailer you said the thing pushed your car till, till where it was pushing your car but your car didn't move or was just moving and it stopped How can your car push that size of car back? The car push your, the big truck push your, what's the size of your car? Small motor. The big truck push your truck, and uh, push your car, your car push the truck back. May angels fight for you in 2023. May God's invisible army fight for you in 2023. In the mighty name of Jesus. I remove you from harm's way. Only God could have done that. And will return all the praise to him. So begin with God. In Deuteronomy chapter 5. Verse 29. Do you have the living Bible of that? Deuteronomy 5, 29. Oh, that they will... Do you have that? Can we read it together? Yeah, everybody, if you can see the screen, let's read together. Oh, that they will always have such a heart for me, wanting to obey my commandments. Then all will go well with them in the future and with their children throughout all generations. You see that? Oh, that they will always have such a heart for me. So you have a heart for him. You begin with God. But look at the result. Look at the benefit. Look at the blessing. Look at that. Then all will go well with them in the future. How many of you know that 2023 is our future? You want all to go well with you in 2023? Begin with God. Let your heart connect with the heart of God. It says, all will go well. Nobody can stop all from going well with you once your heart is connected with God. 
put your person, put yourself in a secure place where no man will be able to harm you. Start with God. Help me preach to two people. Say, begin 2023 with God. Hallelujah. Next, embrace God's love for you. You want to experience new beginning? Embrace his love. A lot of us are manifesting the effects of being unloved. Say with me, say God loves me. No, say it well, say it well. Say God loves me. You know, we go through a lot of rejection in this world to the point that it affects us it, it undermines how we develop. So we become emotionally emasculated. Our lives become covered, hampered, deformed emotionally because of how some people around us has just not shown us love and acceptance. Some of us here, we can't even... Even in your industry, I, I see it. it's part of the things that God spoke to me about. I want to talk to pastors in 2023. Pastors, enough of competition. When I'm talking of pastors, I'm talking to the body of Christ. Enough. Celebrate people. Celebrate the grace of God in another person's life. Don't envy people. You are you are doing the same work. You are serving the same master. You are doing the same mission. Where, how did we... You see, when I see that, I see a leader that has not enjoyed the love of God. A leader that is lacking because he's needing approval He's needing validation too much. When he should find his validation in God. When he should be secured in what God is doing in his life and be grateful for what God is doing in another person's life. Let me, let me tell you, I don't care how much you fast and pray. Some people will do better, bigger things than you. Because to one he gave five, to another he gave, and then to another he gave Everybody according to their according to their what abilities. So can you imagine one having issues with the person that has five? How can churches on the same street not be on talking terms? You're saying why? But I'm telling you the truth. And God has sent me to speak about it in 2023. He has sent me to talk to the leaders all over the nation. When we were leaving a stadium road to come here, I looked at all the pastors around here, all of them. I wrote down there, all the big pastors around here, all of them. I couldn't get all the names, but I got quite a sizable amount. I wrote them. I, the ones I couldn't go personally, I sent letters, I sent checks, I sent wine. I said, we're coming here. We're doing the same work. We're coming here. We appreciate what God has been using you to do. And we're coming. The ones I went, say, I want to pray for you. I, they prayed. They, they, they blessed you, the congregation. But no, I will just come in here. We, we come here to possess the old place and drive all the people out. Are you the only one that is in the neighborhood? If this church is the only church in this nation, some people will still not come. There are people that we can't reach. And there are people that other people can't reach. But all of us together. When a businessman has not enjoyed the love of God, you see them reckless with how they spend or how they use their finances. They want to impress people. So they overspend. Where they should be cautious, 
they don't care. Because they are not secured. When a career person has not, you see them, you see them live anyhow in, in their offices. In this year, may the love of God distinguish you. Amen. Say louder, amen, somebody. Amen. So that's the next thing. Enjoy the love of God. Embrace it. Walk in it. Speak about it. Declare it. Wake up in the morning and say to yourself, I'm loved by God. Hold yourself and smile in the mirror and say, I'm loved by God. H help me smile and let somebody beside you be uncomfortable. Smile at them and say, do you know that God loves you? <laughs> uh, there are some people are feeling uncomfortable. Let, tell them, say, do you know that God loves you? Next, this new year, spend time in God's presence daily. Spend time there daily. You can accomplish more with God than you can accomplish without God. One word that you get in the presence of the Almighty God will make struggles to be over. I, I don't think there's ever a problem that does not have a solution. And God has the master key. Take all staff problems to the almighty God. Take all financial problems to the almighty God. Take all spirit. I don't even know how you're going to make it. The level of stress in our world presently. None of us are coupled together to survive this terrain without God. So when the choir was singing that you are my hiding place, truly, he is, he should be your hiding place. So what happens is that when you go there every day, as you talk to God and God talks to you, you receive a strength that human beings can't explain. Concepts and ideas and strategies come to you. That's the way you can do 2023 powerfully. I pray over your life. Everything that Satan has coupled together to deny you a special time in God's presence may it be removed in the name of Jesus. The plan of Satan to steal, to steal your time with God is canceled in the mighty name of Jesus. Say better amen somebody. Schedule it, schedule it. When you have an appointment with governor, don't you schedule it? When you have an appointment with the president, won't you schedule it? When you have an appointment with certain uh, important personalities, won't you, won't, you, won't you save it on your phone? Tell somebody, please remind me. I don't want to miss this. You have an you have appointment with the king of kings and the lord of lords. Schedule it. Next, accept God's plan for your life. God has a plan and that plan is beautiful. It says the plans that I have for you they are the plans of peace. Well-being, not of disaster. To give you a future and a hope. Jeremiah 29, 11. I want you to please I can't continue but those of you that have been writing next, choose to cast your burdens on Jesus because he cares for you. Learn from your past. There's a lesson your past has. Learn from it. Don't dwell on your past. Past failures, past weaknesses. Are you still here? And then finally, be courageous and then engage the power of thanksgiving. Don't miss our miracle thanksgiving. Stand on your feet, everybody. Stand on your feet. Stand on your feet. Stand on your feet. Stand on your feet with me. Something supernatural. Something glorious is happening this moment in the name of Jesus. We're just two minutes less. Less. Less than two minutes. Less than two minutes. Into. Into a realm 
a year that is pregnant. So, I'm going to ask you to please come. Lift your hands to God. We're going to worship Him. May you not be caught in between the closure of one year and another without worshiping and praising God. Lift your hands. Yes. Sing to him. You got times and seasons in your hands. You called for light out of darkness. You don't need a man to be the God you are. We worship you. We worship you. But you have chosen to call me your own. Your
Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. We are grateful. We are grateful. We are grateful, Jesus. We are grateful. Thank you, Lord. We thank you. Everywhere you are, whether you're online, outside, lift your hands, lift your voice, express your gratitude to God. We thank you. We thank you. We thank you. We are grateful. Thank you for mercy. Thank you for mercy. Thank you for mercy. Lord, it is because of your mercy. Thank you for your mercy. It is because of your mercy. Thank you. In the mighty name of Jesus. Happy New Year to you. Happy New Year to you. three people and tell them Happy New Year. so good to you. sing or what? Everything. 
suffered in 2022 will not join you in 2023. The disappointments of 2022 will not enter 2023 with you. From this altar, I speak over your life that the disappointments of 2022 be converted to unique testimonies for you. In the name of Jesus. Can you join your hands everywhere, everywhere, outside, inside. Take a moment to pray for the person you are holding and thank God for that life. Say, Lord, I thank you for this life. Thank God for them. Thank God for them. Thank God for them. Say, Lord, I thank you for this life. I thank you for this one. I thank you for this person I'm holding. I give you praise for their lives. I give you praise for the future, the plans you have for them. Lord, I give you thanks. Pray for them. Pray God's goodness over them in the name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus, pray God's goodness. It will not be like business as usual. It cannot be like business as usual for everyone under the sound of my voice. Father, we give you praise for every man, every woman under the sound of my voice. In the mighty name of Jesus. I want you to pray. Listen to me. Everyone you are holding, their lives will give praise to God in this year. This one you are holding, this life will give glory to God in this year. Nothing will derail them from serving the Lord. Nothing will derail them from worshiping the Lord. Take a moment and declare it concerning the person you are holding before I pray over your life. In the mighty name of Jesus, nothing will derail you from serving the Lord this 2023 it is between you and Jesus it is you and the Lord nothing will separate you from serving God nothing will separate you from worshiping the Lord nothing will separate you from following Jehovah in the mighty name of Jesus nothing will hinder your walk with God in this new year Thank you, Heavenly Father. Thank you, Heavenly Father. Are you still holding the hand? Squeeze that hand a little bit. And then release the hand and hold that hand again. I pray for you today that God will give you unusual harvest. I pray for you as a servant of the Most High God. And I ask that the God of heaven that I serve will open his good treasure in this year and give you unusual harvest in the name. My God give you a harvest of good health. I break the power of sickness in 2023. Every perennial sickness is canceled in the name of Jesus. Today, as I anoint you in this place, no sickness will live with you today. As you leave this premises, no pain will go with you in the name of Jesus. This 2023, the devourer will not steal your finances. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, I break the power of witchcraft over your life satanic and demonic release against you is cancelled now in the mighty name of Jesus no power will manipulate your movement in 2023 your steps shall be ordered by the almighty God 
in the name of Jesus release your hands the things you do this year will prosper the things you do this year will prosper everything you invest in this year will prosper I stand from this altar to declare no more losses I separate you from losses in the name of Jesus no more losses no more losses the losses of 2022 may they come back to you as unusual harvest may the Lord reward you with new harvest say better amen somebody shout a louder amen somebody I pray for you that the things that other people are not seeing you will see the things that other people are not hearing you will hear in the mighty name of Jesus the servant of God said Lord open his eyes that he may see does it mean that the man was not looking before what was he seeing that was depressing him if he wasn't seeing what was he seeing that was discouraging him in this new year you will see results Amen. father open these eyes to see blessings Amen. open these eyes to see opportunities Amen. open these eyes to see miracles Open these eyes to see blessings. In the name of Jesus. No weapon of the enemy fashioned against you that shall be able to prosper. Every lie of Satan against you is reversed in Jesus name. Every demonic and satanic lie against you is reversed in Jesus name. Lie of Satan against your family is reversed in Jesus name. I pray that where you cannot go by yourself may God raise voices for you Amen. lift your right hand to heaven wherever you Jesus anywhere your name comes up anywhere your business name comes up anywhere your family name comes up in this 2023 may God raise the voice of defenders for you in the name of Jesus may God raise the voice of favor for you in the name of Jesus put down your hands nothing will die in these hands in 2023 nothing will die in your hands as you are anointed today you will carry grace into 2023 in the mighty name of Jesus your business will not die in your hands your family will not die in your hands your own children will not die in your hands somebody say bigger amen your career will not die in your hands Anything you touch is blessed. Anything you touch prospers. Anything you touch is healed. Now put the hand on yourself. I declare the healing of Jehovah to begin with you. Healing in your mind. I break the power of depression. I take authority over discouragement. Go in the name of Jesus. Amen. Suicidal spirits, go in the name of Jesus. Amen. Everything the enemy is doing to destroy your mind with the blood of Jesus, I declare your mind is safe. Amen. Today, in the name of God the Father, Amen. God the Son, Amen. and God the Holy Spirit. You are blessed. Amen. You are may your strength be ten times stronger. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. A people you do not know will bless you. Amen. You will receive good news as this year begins. 
receive your miracle now. Thank you, Heavenly Father. Give him praise, somebody. Give him praise, somebody. We have oil. Wherever you are, whether you're outside, inside, up there, you'll be anointed with oil. I know some of us have been anointed in the past. But this year is different. I said this year is different. I say it again to you. Believe in the Lord your God. You'll be established. Believe his prophet. You will prosper. As you are anointed today. May that anointing cause you to run through a troop. And leap over a wall. Supernatural strength will become yours. Supernatural ability will come into your life. The harvest that God is giving to you. Please take your seats. The harvest that God is giving to you. Is unusual harvest. That harvest will accelerate your life. Pay attention. The harvest that God has given to you is unusual harvest. And that harvest will accelerate your life. You said, I have seen the goodness of God, but it cannot be compared with what grace and mercy will do for you in 2023. In the name of God the Father, in the name of God the Son, in the name of God the Holy Spirit, my God, you know, I read the scripture and I saw how God brought them out. And that's what is also going to happen to you in 2023. Let me look for it and read it to you. I, I copied it down. Psalm 105 verse 37. He brought them out with silver and gold. And there was none feeble among his tribe. Did they work for the silver? Did they work for the gold? Who gave it to them? Who gave it to them? In 2023, this year you have entered. The things you didn't even work for. May God, please pay attention. May God supernaturally in his own mercy and grace give it into your hands can you say a better amen, amen. as you go out every day may God bring you out with silver and gold it symbolizes resources so in 2023, the resources you need to do the will of God, open your two hands, may it supernaturally find a place in your hands. You know, the natural man cannot understand the things of the spirit. They don't realize that spiritual first before natural. May those resources enter your hand. May everything you need to fund your destiny, may God put it in your hands. Everything you need to fund the dream that God has put in your hand, may he put it in your hands. Can you shout a stronger amen? Put down your hands. How many years did the children of Israel walk? They walked for years. No pay bad pay unusual pay terrible pay they increased even the they, they, they made work horrible for them they were slaves they were not earning what they deserve in other words they were in the house of bondage that's the word but when God brought them out he did what Everyone that is holding what is yours, 
what you have labored, what you have worked for, jobs you have done, you have not been paid. Monies owed to you that have not been released. Wherever they are within this nation, outside this nation, right now, as I speak, may it be released supernaturally to you. In the name of God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Spirit. In this 2023, as you walk, you will receive reward. As you labor, you will see results. In the mighty name of Jesus. You will notice that the scripture we read, he said he brought them out with silver and then none was. In other words, he blessed them, but he also gave them the health to enjoy it. You will not have resources and not have health to enjoy it. Today, anything toying with your health may be removed. My God will renew your youth like the eagles. In the mighty name of Jesus. Listen, when we talk about health, some people limit it only to physical health. But what God has taught me in the last three years when I talk about health is that I should include mental health. Because what has come upon our world in these past three years is horrible. But our God will put a canopy over his covenant children. May God put his canopy over your life. May his presence become a canopy over your family. In the name of God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit. I break the power of sickness and disease over your body. I deliver you from the stronghold of wickedness. I speak life to your body. Receive life in Jesus name. As you are anointed now, may life explode inside of you. In the name of Jesus. Put your two hands on your tummy. Say, I have resurrection. I have life inside of me. Jesus lives inside of me. He is resurrection. He is life. Say it with me. Say, I have resurrection. I have life inside of me. I have Jesus. Jesus is resurrection. And he is life. Therefore I declare. May the power of resurrection. And the power of life. Destroy every germ. Every bacteria. Every virus. Every pain. Every disorder. Cancerous cells. Die now. In the name of Jesus. Amen. So shall it be. The moment you are anointed. Say so shall it be. The moment you are anointed, so shall it be. As you are anointed, whether you are outside here, those of you online, get something and anoint yourself as a point of contact with us. Get an oil. We say, I don't have oil. Use anything around yourself. As we begin to anoint, use it as a point of contact. Because we're doing this together. Say amen. amen. Pastors, are we ready? Come, 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 come. Bring, bring all, the, all the things to me. Jesus. 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 Thank you, Lord. Bring it, bring it, bring it. Come first. Glory. In the name that is above every name. Mosabla. the miracles begin. Let chains 
house be destroyed. Let the power of darkness give way. Let the light of the glorious gospel shine. Let the miracles begin now. In the name of God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit. Thank you. Hallelujah. Jesus, 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 Jesus. Jesus, thank you, Lord. Oshos, you're going to help us. How did you, how did you? They're coming. Please, please pay attention to Pastor Chris. Please pay attention. Even if you're outside or inside. Because when we anoint everybody, it takes a, a little bit of time. There's a temptation to switch off. Don't fall for it. Let it be a time of gratitude, a time of worship, a time of prayer for you. Let it be a special time. If you don't have anything to do, just be grateful. Be grateful. Don't be distracted. Because God is still walking in the midst of his people. Say amen. I say God is still walking in the midst of his people. You will not lose your miracle. I say you will not lose your miracle. it be so shall it be so shall it be so shall it be in the mighty name of Jesus so shall it be in the mighty name of Jesus so shall it be in the mighty name of Jesus when we come in your name
You are kind, you are more than thee. I'm lost for words, trying to describe you. Elohim, Elion, Ale Shalewi. Your greatness is all I see. You are good, you are kind, you are more than me. I'm lost for words, trying to describe you. Elohim, Elion, Ale Shalewi. Your greatness is all I see. There is nothing you cannot do. There's no mountain you cannot move. If you have said it, then you will do it. You have a track record of keeping in your will, your word. But you're not about to stop doing it. The blood that was shed, we have overcome. This right to your holy name, the center of power and strength. There is nothing you cannot change. That's no bondage you cannot break. You cannot break if you have said it. If you have said it, if you have spoken it, if we can't find it in your word, because it's written in your word. Search it out in your word. If I believe it, Jesus, if you have said it, you have a track record of keeping your word. Good shepherd, 
Lord, you are God. Oh yeah, 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 oh y
for your name is great and greatly to be praised. We thank you for a new year. We thank you for a new year. We thank you for a new to harvest. Your name is your name. 
praise Jehovah. the king This new year shall be different for you. Because of the anointing, you will deliver safely. Physically, you will deliver safely. You will also deliver your dream safely in this new year. Every gift, those of you that have not been anointed, don't panic, don't worry. You are, we're together. The anointing is going on, but you have to receive what we're praying. Every gift and every potential inside of you that all these years has been lying dormant in this 2023 they'll come alive in the mighty name of Jesus this new year you will operate at your best and your highest receive grace to function in that light anything that has been covering you over the years from this year it is removed in Jesus name The things that happened in your life all these years to God alone be all the glory. But as you enter this season of unusual harvest, may you enjoy multiplication. Receive grace for multiplication. In the name of God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit. I prophesy over your life today, declaring that in 2023 this new year with your own hands you will enjoy the fruit of your labor in the mighty name of Jesus the things that fight you from different dimensions they are cancelled in Jesus name it will work in your favor say a better amen somebody can you shout a louder amen In this new year, pay attention. God will speak to you and you will hear him clearly. For this year, you will hear God clearly. Receive grace for clarity. No more confusion. No more hits and misses. This year, you will get divine direction clearly. The inspiration from God will be clear to you in the mighty name of Jesus the ideas and visions that God has given to you no man will steal from you inventions and strategies and innovations that God has given to you no man will steal from you in the name of Jesus you will not die before your time say loud amen somebody you will not die before your time. 
your days on the earth shall be fulfilled in the name of Jesus. Because you have loved God and served him. The pastors that were still anointing the people. Where's Pastor Davis? Is he outside? Is he outside, Pastor? Okay. Go, go and help him so that we can come quickly. Because I have to anoint the pastors too. Pastor Chidi, go, okay, is he here? Pastor, you are, you are done? Good. That's good. Everything about the ideas, innovations, and strategies that God gives you, no man will steal from you. God, in this new year, God, pay attention. God will give you strategies that will multiply your finances. Amen. Receive grace for it to be done now. Some of you were a blessing to some people in this past year. Now that we have entered this new year, the people you used to help shall be multiplied in Jesus' name. God will use you to wipe tears from the eyes of many. Because you have received grace today, you will be a blessing to your community. You will be a blessing to the world around you. In the name of God the Father. In the name of God the Son. In the name of God the Holy Spirit. Can, can, I, get, can I get the anointing oil? Anoint Pastors, come, come. Thank you, Heavenly Father. name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Heavenly Father. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Glory be to Jesus. Glory be to Jesus. In 2023, you will walk in the supernatural. Amen. As you pray, you will see the results. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus. Today, by the power of the resurrected Lord, I banish fear from your life. I release you to take your place. In your industry, in your field, nobody will compete with you. In the mighty name of Jesus. You will stand as a shining light. In your light, other people will see light. Through your light, other people will see light. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. All the people that came to church, pay attention. All the people that came to church that have heap, you, you have heap problems. The Lord has just healed many of you. Somebody give him praise. Heap. You came to church with heap problem. The Lord has just healed you. Put your hand there. Move it and give God praise. Hallelujah. Amen. Those of you, those of you that have been squatting, I see new accommodations for you. Your own accommodation. Please see what God has seen, accept what God has said. I said accommodation. If you like, choose rented. If you like, choose owned. See what God has seen, hear what God has said. Today, May the forces of heaven above and the forces of earth below 
engage together to give you your accommodation. So shall it be. In the mighty name of Jesus. So shall it be. In the mighty name of Jesus. So shall it be. In the mighty name of Jesus. Somebody has been hiccuping over time. They've done all kinds of things. But the Lord has just healed you. To show you that he is your healer. The hiccuping problem has gone. It's an internal issue. But the Lord has just healed you. Wherever you are, give him praise. I say wherever you are, you give him praise. If you came to church, pay attention. If you came to this church today. Because we are rounding our service up. And you came with a form of ailment in your body. Put your hand where it hurts. Put your hand where it hurts. The healer is in the house. His name is Jesus. Wonderful Jesus. Today I banish ailment from your body. Go in the name of Jesus. Receive healing now. Be healed in Jesus' name. Be healed in the mighty name of Jesus. Pain, go now. In Jesus' name. Every disorder ceases from this moment. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. From the crown of your head to the soles of your feet, I command your system to walk well. Receive life in Jesus' name. Receive life in Jesus' name. Receive life now in Jesus' name. Lift your hands and thank him. I said, lift your hands and thank to come. I want to quickly lay my hands on your head. You came to church with a hip problem. Check it because it's gone. Come. Where are you? Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Those of you that put your hand, you came with one ailment or the other. And you put your hand, when I say put your hand there, and now you can touch your body and you can see that it is no more there. Check it. Check your body. Please, please, please. The Spirit of God is walking in the midst of His people. Let's honor the presence of the Lord. If you want, if you want to just sit down, that's fine. Just take your seats. Please, everybody sit down. Everybody sit down. Where the, if, if the Lord touched your hip and your hip is healed, can I see you come? Whether you're outside or inside, come. I want to put my hand on your head. And those of you that as I was praying, you put your hand on your body and the disorder is gone. You have to check it. The disorder is gone. I want you to come. Hallelujah. Glory be to Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Beginning with the hip. How do I know I've been healed of my hip? Check it. Bend it. The pain is no more there. Hallelujah. Glory be to Jesus. We love you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Your body will not carry sickness. It will carry the Holy Spirit. The resurrection, the life lives inside of you. It will quicken your mortal body. In the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Heavenly Father. Lift your right hand, everybody. Today I ask that the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ will flow through your system. Sickness and disorder will not truncate the plan of God in 2023. You will enjoy life in Jesus' name. You will enjoy sound health in Jesus' name. Give him glory.
what did the Lord do for you? Around where? Here? That's your heap. How long? Up to one month. You went to the hospital and you left the hospital. Yes, sir. And then you came out. So yes, how sir. do you know the Lord has healed you? While you were praying, uh, suddenly the pain disappeared. Can you can you push it? Can you touch it? Yes, sir. What, what, what couldn't you do before? Is there anything you couldn't do before? I couldn't if stand. If you do and you feel the pain if you stand? Yes, sir, if I stand. Can you try to do something else? Let's see. The pain could still be there, you know. Yes, sir. Oh, yeah. Try and wear well. Raise your hand. Yes, sir, I'm very sound now. <laughs> oh, Jesus. <laughs> I declare concerning you and your future sickness will not rob the goodness of God in your family Amen. sickness will not deny you that which God has ordained in 2023 Amen. I speak sound health lift your hands lift your hands I speak sound health to you from now onwards in Jesus name in Jesus' name, Amen. in Jesus' name, Amen. so shall it be. Amen. Clap your hands, everybody, and honor the Lord. Today, I curse migraine headache, and I command it to go and never come back again. Pain in your right eyes goes now and never returns again. In the mighty name of Jesus, I use you as a point of contact to your family member. Because somebody just said, I don't have, but it's my family member. Who is the person? Who is the person? You, as I was praying, you just said it's not you, but your family. Today, I use you as a point of contact and I break the power of sickness over that life. Declare total and complete healing. Amen. Your right eye receives life now. And the pain goes now. In Jesus name now I need you to move if you're in that category I need you to move your head just move your head move it just shake it shake it because the Lord has totally and completely healed you in this 2023 you will operate in the supernatural say better amen, amen. if you are not sleeping can you say better amen? amen the things that will happen in your career will be by the supernatural Others will do it naturally, but you will do it supernaturally. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. You came to church, you have this pain, this, this throbbing pain on the right, from this right eye side. The Lord has healed you and it's gone. Wherever you are, can you just quickly come and lay my hands on you? We're closing our service any moment from now. Quickly, quickly. Can you check your right, this right eye? The pain, the migraine pain headache is gone. What a mighty God we serve. Will it turn the glory to you? Hallelujah. Everything, if you're coming, quickly come, come, come. I'm going on to the next thing. Everything we have shared today and yesterday. You know, today is a new day. And everything we shared yesterday. will be nothing to you if you don't give your life to Jesus. You can't do 2023 without Jesus being Lord in your life. So if you're here today and you say, Pastor Chris, pray for me. I want to give my, I want to do 2023 with Jesus. I want to give my life to the Lord Jesus. I want to follow Jesus in 2023. If that's you, whether you're outside or inside, I need you to raise your right hand. Raise your right hand. Raise it up to Jesus. You want him to forgive you your sin. Open a new chapter for you. For this 20, 20, touch everybody by your side. Say, wake up. Make sure you don't sleep. Make sure you don't sleep. So that they can hear when the call of salvation is coming. May you not sleep on duty in Jesus' name. So today you want to give your life to the Lord Jesus. You want your sins forgiven. You want the Lord to open a new chapter for you. Raise your right hand. Whether you're outside or inside. Raise your right hand. 
I want to pray for you also. Can you please come wherever you are. Bring your things to the front. I'm going to ask the pastors to lead that prayer. Come quickly, come quickly. You say, Pastor Chris, I want to give my heart to the Lord. I want to do 2023 with the Lord. I want him to save my life. I want him to forgive my sins. I want him to open a new chapter for me. Take your Bible. Take everything you came to church with. Come from outside. Come from up there. Come. Whether you are online, it doesn't matter. It's time to give your life to the Lord Jesus. It's nobody else but Jesus. Everybody say Jesus. Jesus. Say it again. Say Jesus. Jesus. Somebody shout Jesus. Jesus. You're not shouting loud enough. Somebody shout Jesus. Jesus. Now, quickly, while they are still coming, what did the Lord do for you? The same pain, all this. And can you check? Is it still there? It's gone. The Lord has healed you. Lift your hands up to God. Father, we return the glory and honor to you. Faithful is your word and faithful you shall remain. It will not return again in Jesus' name. Go back to your seats. Give glory to God. They want to give their life to Jesus? Eh? You receive healing for your son. took him to the children a uh, doctor okay. and I gave him paracetamol mm. and uh, he subsided after sleeping. Mm. So when we were praying Pray. and um, the prayer was going on, he now said, mommy, I'm feeling headache. I can't stand that he's feeling severe, he's feeling severe headache. So I thought of going back to the lady. I was like, I may not be able to see her again because of the service going on. So I now uh, whispered to him, I told him, believe that when we go to pastor and he lays his hands on you with the anointing, that you'll be healed, okay? He said, yes, mommy. So when we came and after when you we now received the anointing, I said, so shall it be. So, so how we went, do you know he's healed? I asked him and he became normal. Okay. Even, he was even complaining of chest pain then. Is, is your body still paining you? It's gone? Are you sure? Is your head still paining you? No, don't, don't shake your head. Talk now. Say something. Talk. No. Huh? No. Good boy. Come, come, come. Because he was, he was conceived okay. by the... Before, okay. Okay. before we came... What I us. want you to do, eh? so that whether it's the paracetamol that is working... You know, here we don't have God. Okay? Tomorrow, check the boy again. Okay? Social. Hold, hold, Pastor. Hold me. Hold, hold my body well. Hold me like this. Mm. So tomorrow, the day after tomorrow, check it again and again, okay? We love you, Jesus. You say, Pastor, I want to give my life to you. I want to, I want to follow you. It is that don't do 2023 without Jesus. Everybody say Jesus. Jesus. Say, say the name again. Say Jesus. Jesus. One more time. Say Jesus. Jesus. Now, whether you are outside or inside, you say, Pastor, pray for me. I want my sins forgiven. I want God to give me a new chapter. I want a new beginning. Pray for me. I want to follow Jesus in 2023. Now, those of you that are still here, pay attention. Pay attention. If you follow Jesus in 2022, all this while, but you went back. You went your own way. Now you want to return like the prodigal child back to your father. This is the time. Take your Bible. Take everything you came to church with. Come. Come to the front. Come. You say, Jesus, forgive me. I want to be restored back to you. I want to follow you in 2023. I want to be restored. Take your things and come. God bless you. Come. Come. God bless you. God bless you. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. I want the pastors. Pastors. Oh, yeah. Pastor Charles, take a microphone. You lead them to, to, to Christ and then you pray for them. Every breath come, I come, take. come. Those of you from outside, come. Every moment come, come quickly. Lord, have your way.
my soul. I give you my soul. I live for you alone. Every breath that I take. Every moment. Every moment in me. Just hold on. You know, the, the story of the prodigal son is so beautiful. You can be a daughter or a son. It does not matter. But if you have gone away from the father, it is time for you to come back home. Don't do 2023 like you did all these other years. Let something beautiful begin for you. You say, Pastor, I want to rededicate my life to the Lord. I want to be restored back to my father. Take your everything you came to church with. Your Bible or your phone, or your bag. Leave your seat and come so that we can pray together. God bless you as you come. Quickly, quickly, come, come, come. God bless you. Come. I give my soul. I live for you. Are you coming? God bless you. Every breath that I take. Have your way. Have your way. I give you my heart. Lord, I give you my heart. And my God bless soul. You. Come. I give you my soul. Thank you, Lord Jesus. We love you, Jesus. I leave for you. whatever I will ask you to say from the depth of your heart. It doesn't matter whether you are giving your life afresh or you are rededicating your life. It doesn't matter even if you have answered an altar call before now. But this time I want you to do it differently. So say with me, say, Lord Jesus, mean it from your heart. Say with me again, say, Lord Jesus, come into my life. Be my Lord and be my Savior. I recognize this day that I cannot save myself. Therefore, I accept you as my Lord and my personal Savior. Every agreement, every covenant that I've had in the past with Satan, I declare with my mouth today that they are nullified in Jesus' name. Let me pray for you now. Father, today, I pray for these precious ones. Thank you, Lord, because this is your doing. No one can take this step except by your grace. Therefore, I declare that, Lord, these ones from today, they are saved. Let their names be written in the Lamb's book of life. Every covenant, every agreement prior to this time, Lord, I declare it is deleted with the blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. I declare concerning these ones that this decision that they have taken will be forever in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. These ones will not fall by the wayside. By the grace of God, they will see you face to face at the fullness of time in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Church, I'd like you to please put your hands together for these precious ones. Yes. I say put your hands together for these precious ones. We cannot save one soul. Yes. Please, you will turn, all of you, all of you. No, I said we are taking every step seriously. It's a new dawn for all of you. Please, you will turn and go with this brother. This brother, just go with him. He has additional information from pastor for all of you. Want to get your details and stay in touch with you so that you can be growing spiritually. Let's continue to clap for this one till they go.
Don't stop appreciating them. We love you, Lord. Can you please, everybody, let's stand on our feet. If you can, just lift your two hands and let the Lord know how grateful you are. Thank him for the gift of a new year. Whether you're outside, inside, take a moment and just thank him for the gift of a new year. Father, we are so grateful. We thank you for the gift of a brand new year. Take all the glory and all the honor. In the mighty name of Jesus. Today, I receive wisdom for you to steward this new year. You will not waste your year. You will not waste your time. My God grant you wisdom to steward this new year. As you live here, you live with wisdom. In the name of God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit. Father, I ask that your presence will envelop everyone under the sound of my voice. Inside, outside, online, or listening to this broadcast or this material. Lord, let your presence make the difference in their lives. No weapon formed against you that shall be able to prosper. My God give you unusual harvest. As you are anointed today, go in that anointing and in that might and conquer your world. In the name of God the Father, in the name of God the Son, in the name of God the Holy Spirit. Thank you Heavenly Father. In Jesus wonderful name we pray. Clap those hands one more time. Let's celebrate him. Fight. Go and conquer your world in Jesus' name. Now, now, please sit down. Pay attention to all this. Please pay attention. Please. The service for 6 o'clock. We're not meeting physically in this premises. Please. We're broadcasting it. It's online and then we're going to also put it on um, guarded. What's that? Garden City Radio was 89.9 89.9 time is 6 p.m. Um, Mixla, we shall be live on Mixla also. So please tune in, bring family members to be a part of it. Pay attention. Next, next Sunday, we're doing our Thanksgiving for the year. Clap your hands and honor him. If you have your card, can you raise the card? Raise the card. If you have the card, raise it. Can you raise the card? Can I get a copy? Can you give me a copy? Where, where's my copy? Bring a copy to me. Everybody. Everybody. Everybody that has a copy. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. God bless you. <laughs> Everybody, lift your card. Lift your card wherever you are. Lift your card. Declare in the name of Jesus. This card is anointed. Now, if you don't have any card in your hand, as you go later, you pick up a card. Say, in the name of Jesus. We declare this card is anointed. This card is anointed. As this card is released, men and women shall be saved. As this card is released, men and women shall be blessed. Men and women shall be changed. Men and women shall be delivered. We declare that this card is a tool and we release it now in Jesus' name. Say amen, somebody. So make sure you give out the cards and let them, let them be used because they are tools. And then as, we, as you go, allow the ushers to guide us because we have fireworks outside. So just spend some time. They're going to put some fireworks out, but keep away from this. There's a boundary. There's a boundary for where don't rush into the place. They have a, is it a caution tape? Okay. They have a place they cordoned off. Please listen to them as they guide us. God bless you. Go and conquer your world in Jesus' name. Happy New Year. Thank you. God bless you.
Thank mm-hmm. you.